Well, you can't tell by the way I flip my trunk from the white boy. That works too much. Getting drunk on what they want. I've been racing around. My head strings torn. And that was all right. Just that shit. And that still goes the other way. And we can't take the shadow pin. I'm so ready to fake on brand. Whether you're a boss or a wet, then you're a trucker. And I'm selling your merch. Selling your merch. Through the concert's faking it. Everybody hating it. We're selling your merch. Selling your merch. Ah, 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 ah. Selling your merch. Selling your merch. One take. Stop for my favorite time of the week When you get to hear Papa try to speak Will he surprise us today? You better act there Watch 10 minutes of shop Welcome back to 10 Mr. Shop. Thanks for tuning in. As always, join the Patreon, join the Reddit, uh, on the Patreon, we just watched Marlon Wayne's new special. Good, it was a good grief. Good grief. Good grief. We well, you can uh, if you want to see what we thought about it, tune into the Patreon. Well, I, I, I you got to <laughs> tune into the Patreon. Mm-hmm. I just got over being sick. I still sound sick. I'm sorry if I'm still sick. We're happy to have you back. We're glad you're all good. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. You brought it from wherever you were, New Orleans or Seattle. Mm-hmm. Not not the vid, but I got I brought you the coughs. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, but I'm feeling better, dude. I'm making it. I'm only at a hundred and eight degree fever. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you're. I mean, I'm not a numbers guy, so who cares? Let's do it, right? Yep. Dick's that, still that's, eight not, inches. that's not why they came, though, right? No. No, they came to watch ten minutes of shop. So start the timer. Play the chin clip. All righty, we got the first one posted by Seven Sexa. It's called "Apparently Rogan and Hinchcliffe Performed in My Hometown Stockholm Once, and Apparently My People Didn't Like It Slash Wasn't Laughing Enough." But apparently, according to Rogan, us Europeans don't laugh because we, quote, pay attention instead and not because they're shitty comedians. Let's see. This looks like Sam Talent here. Let's go. But I, I got him. I took Hinchcliffe to Stockholm once. Yeah, Stockholm's fun. Yeah, I had a great time, but he had never been to Europe before. And uh, we did two shows. And the first show, he's like, dude, they did not like me. I go, you got laughs. He goes, mm-hmm. yeah, but then they died off. I go, no, no, that's what they do here. Yeah. They, they pay attention. Mm-hmm. Like, they pay attention in between. <laughs> yes. yes. I, like th- I like this Tony Hinchcliffe. It's very good. Won't you hear when Tony Hinchcliffe talk about Helen Keller? <laughs> so, I, I laugh. I laugh very hard, um, a little bit. But Does then he? I think, you know, it's a very clever joke to call uh, David Lucas black and fat. <laughs> very smart. Oh, Cerebral. Yes, yes. Yes, but he talk a lot about us. He does the crowd work. The crowd work was very good. He was roasting us. <laughs> R- roast, he was like a young wolf. <laughs> Hungry. I was not understanding why Joe Rogan wasn't funny at all. I like his Poon's podcast. Joe Rogan is a very funny. Again. <laughs> you know, oh. you're Asian. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I can't stay in one accent. I was trying to do I was trying to do like a German thing because that's mm-hmm. as close as I know to what Well Stockholm, Sweden. Germany. Stockholm's in Germany? Uh, <laughs> no, Sweden. it's Sweden. I'm yeah. just joking. Oh, you're doing that I got out. you, though. I was like, wait a minute. Am I? What? I was like, I thought that was Sweden. It's, it's where uh, Adolf, you know, ate the old bullet. I think, I mean, it would be kind of funny if the Europeans were just like, they like to think about it. So they go, oh, oh. you know, because some people are like, that's clever. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of laughing. That's a personality type. Oh, the Hinchcliffe really spilled the beans on us. <laughs> it's joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you were here, you're lucky. You're lucky you're a part of this thing and no one's ever gonna sing. Quick, shut the fuck up! <laughs> not like the people not paying attention. <laughs> We'd be cool. Let's just shut the fuck up! Can we just shut the fuck up? Can you shut the fuck up? I can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Trans women are women. How about most? <laughs> How about almost all? You gotta leave room for crazy. <laughs> no laughter. I go, no, no, that's what they do here. Yeah. They, they pay attention. <laughs> that's pretty close to our accents right there, dude. Yeah, I think we nailed it. Stockholm und Sneens, ja, ja. Låt mig beklunga dig nu. Håll radion, de ligger 
Stockholm looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, Netflix. Midsummer. I'll say her go ahead. One thing's for sure, dude. Stockholm different. <laughs> yeah. For sure. A lot of ladies and or a lot of sunsets in the crowd tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's just so such a beautiful place. Maybe they don't maybe they don't laugh as much. I don't know. They definitely don't strike me as like dick and semen humor people or poop jokes and stuff like that. Probably not, <laughs> but I have nothing. To, for whatever reason, I agree with you, but I don't know anything about Sweden. Also, everyone looks transgender in this picture, so it's like that. Joe Rogan's not going to hit really hard out there, you know? Yeah, because Sweden, yeah, he wouldn't uh, relate to that crowd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tits and dicks is what I call Stockholm, dude. <laughs> So you know, man, homeless cat. Yeah, homeless cat, dude. What? Let us know in the comments if you're at, in Stockholm. Even if you're in Seattle or something, just be like, yeah, Stockholm out here, dog. When I went to Stockholm, Sweden, how beautiful the people were there. I was running down the street pointing at guys with my wife going, yeah, look at that guy. Look at that. That fucking guy, like, he's like an accountant walking down the street. He's like, does he know if he fucking came over here? He'd be starring in movies. But I mean, I went into a couple, of, I went to this mag, went and uh, bought like a, a magazine or something like that <laughs> when I was over there. And the woman behind the counter was like a fucking 11 here. But she was working at a magazine stand, so that was her energy. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working in a magazine stand. <laughs> I was waiting for him to be like, and they would not stop laughing. Yeah, dude. I thought there was going to be something. And then she just kept laughing. <laughs> Anything I said. Just, Everyone in Stockholm, they laugh a lot if they like oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, everything is so funny. Uh, part of me was like, can you just pay attention? <laughs> what know? are we doing here? Yeah. All right. This one uh, I thought was funny. It's posted by Corned Beefer. Listen, there's a lot of these kind of posts, first of all. I thought this okay. one was funny because the, the shirt is ridiculous. It's called Jesus. I can't even with this narcissistic uh, word. <laughs> that is a wild dress. I know it's so crazy that she borrowed Brendan Schaub's shirt. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got oh, dude, it's a hot chick. <laughs> Schaub is like, you remember those old shirts that kids would go on vacation and they'd come back from the boardwalk and they'd have like a shirt and like art cartoons with like big boobs and like <laughs> some guy drinking a beer, like fun, whatever, or like some stupid saying. Yeah. That's kind of like that. Oh, mom, can I get the shirt that has just boobs on it? And they're just like, no. Yep. Please. Is that your takeaway? <laughs> yeah. Because that, to me, looks like me and my Dicey shirt, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, the Dicey shirt is classy. They dude. fit long, dude. They, I don't oh, have to I wear underwear saying. or pants with them on, dude. I see what you're saying because it's the length is so long. Yeah. That's why. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. That's funny, too. Yeah. I mean, that's the style of Delia and Shab and hype guys. Hype beasts, they mm -hmm. wear shirts that are gigantic. And you know what? It's because they have something I don't have, dude. What's that? A flat stomach, dude. Oh, oh, right. Big they, muscles. They're like, I wake up at 4.34 in the morning. They can't be like all tight, you know? They can yeah. be like, have some fucking space, you know, so you can fucking walk around. Look yeah. at my thighs. You can't even see them because <laughs> my shirt's so big. <laughs> yeah, your shirt. Rogan's shirts always cover his thighs <laughs> for other reasons. Let's see what else we got here. I thought that was funny. Uh, this one, I, I haven't watched any of the chins this week clip. This one's called Never Forget, posted by Confidence Search 8648. Gave this one a quick skim. Liked what I saw. So let's see what this is about. Um, Dude. Dude. I know that it's been a really long time since you've heard from me. Um, and it's so different with music to it. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to cut it out of the public episode because the music uh, broke. Um, I put out a statement that said everything I've done has been legal and consensual, and that's true. And I wanted that statement to speak for itself. He's a creep, dude. <laughs> when you were on the shows, I had too much sex. <laughs> and girls didn't like that. They said I'm a day. <laughs> I ate shrimp scampi <laughs> in my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was 18. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I pray to God she's not 18. <laughs> But I'm a dolphin. <laughs> I fuck people. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I don't belong here. <laughs> I am the diddler. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, dude. High five. See how easy yeah. it is for us. You guys think we spend time on the parodies? One yes. day. Yes. One day, dude. <laughs> um, how, how did it come out? Like, how did they? 
the uh, boy's mother ended up finding it. Fucking finding it? What do you mean? It, it, Snapchat goes away, right? How they? He probably saved it. You can screen record, take screenshots. <laughs> You gotta know that that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing for your friend to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, after you get fucking, fucking shocked, and then you're, you gotta know that's gonna happen. In Brian Callen voice, I thought I could go Snapchat with no record of it. Turns out they screenshot it. I can't sing with my voice right Callum now. would just be the worst coworker ever. He'd be so <clears throat> annoying, and then every time you fucked up, he'd be like, dude, how did you do that? Mm-hmm. Like, shut up. I forgot we were supposed to bring black shirts. <laughs> Why is he the only one in the, the ugly sweater? <laughs> Who knows, man? He's always in sweaters. Let's see. Some people I do guess. some crazy shit. Um, I always knew Chris is a ladies' man. I have never... And I'm going to say this. I have never seen or heard of him doing anything illegal. Ever. Um, <laughs> but I have, no. I'm going to say it again. I have personally never heard or seen him do anything illegal. <laughs> this is actually funny, man. Him doing this? <laughs> I think this is pretty funny. What's, what's been the roughest thing you've had to deal with? <laughs> It's terrible. In my life, the roughest thing I've had to deal with was uh, being myself canceled. Uh, and I did that. <laughs> I did that. I did that. A hundred percent. No. Oh my God. Put the shirt back on. What is this from? Brent Warren loves it. Now the cool Jay. Some like lip sync battle says. Hold on, before we go, because yeah. Brian, I want to give you the opportunity yeah. here for people. Who, you've been the latest victim of, of, of uh, allegations of sexual assault. Uh, people can say the Me Too that's <laughs> gone oh, too yeah. far. Um, let me just ask you point blank: accusation of rape. Did you do it? No, I did not. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> You, I had to put it on. I had to put my sunglasses on. So obnoxious because your future's so bright. Yeah, I, that's exactly. Yeah, okay, so you get it. Fucking, what happened before How did I get there? Call I, Sal. I, I always call been Sal. saying that. You saw. But I've <laughs> always been saying that. Better call <laughs> Sal. Yeah, I know. the grammar. No, no, it's not the grammar. It's the way. Dude. Dude, the fall from grace from like being. That you're gonna be like the next big thing to you're on a show where the guy the guy goes better call Sal Sal Sal, <laughs> and it's better call Sol. <laughs> Stop saying that. Do, do. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it's so funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, Delia. Oh, really. From LL Cool J to Brendan Schaub, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he says, <laughs> this eagle voice shit. <laughs> 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 now he's doing crowd work videos where people are having seizures <laughs> instead of vegan <being> movies. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> now Uncle Jay's like, hey, everyone's so happy. therapy and stuff like that uh, that doesn't matter here or there but what I have come to understand is um, this was always about sex to me I never thought in a million years that I'd be sitting here <laughs> defending myself against something I did not do oh 21 years ago so this is me saying that I categorically and absolutely deny all the allegations against me one and actor has been sexually harassing underage girls began surfacing this week after one alleged victim claimed that the Netflix series You Actor once asked her for nude pictures, knowing that she was underage. However, the comic... <laughs> oh my god. 
some of the pictures of these guys, they look so bad. It's like it's almost like, damn, if I if you get famous, you just gotta like have never take a selfie. Yeah. Never let anyone take a picture of you. You should that's why Kanye West wears that mask in public. He's smart. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I have so many bad... I could never oh, do anything. I have so many bad same. pictures of myself. Look at me, dude. Take yeah. a picture right now. It's going to be bad. Yeah, dude. Golf, fish, and kids. That's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall... It's so crazy how both of them were the biggest comedy comedian cancellations, and they're both friends. That is funny. I mean, you know, who knows? Nuts. It drives <laughs> me nuts. Yeah, dude. I, I dare you to go on after Chris at, in the comedy store. It's uh, crazy. Nobody wants to book this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's see the next one. This one's posted by Big Shoots. Look at James Austin Johnson. Um, we know that guy right now. We do. Okay, yeah. He's one of our guys. One of our guys. Uh, speaking of which, Stavi is starring in his own movie coming to theaters near you. Now, before he starts sucking up and singing his praises, let's all recall Bapa saying he's not one of our guys. <laughs> let's see here. Why do you think you're ready to transcend? I mean, because it sounds sick, honestly. <laughs> Getting slurped up. God's watching. Me and you forever. Forever. Interesting. Guys. This also might get Gadoosh straight up. Oh, yeah. Authorities speculate that this was a doomsday cult and have released this photo. Police asked for any information regarding the red-haired man in the center. <laughs> Why aren't you dead? I did die, champ. I was sent back to get you. You couldn't transcend without me. We need each other. What's up? I cannot wait to get some followers. So you guys are like a family? That's right. No brothers barging on your privacy. Stop eating off. It's time to go to work. No, Uncle Aaron. That is not James Austin Johnson. Sleeping back, not letting your ass <laughs> I know. I was like, I think I know who you're talking about, but not a chance, dude. I was like, damn, I think he's fucking, that's not him at all. That's so funny. <laughs> I would have said Johnny Pemberton before. Keep, keep it in. Keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you're like screaming like, ah! like, help me. This is Diane. And I feel like. I mean, might. we're just straight up watching a commercial now for a movie. Yeah. 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 He's just doing well. Yeah. I, guess, I mean, we. I wanted to watch it because I thought it was James. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I, it looks funny. I like the premise. As close as you can get to a funny movie nowadays, you know? These, they're a cult. They do one of those suicide things, but he doesn't die. That's a good premise. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like a screenplay 101 kind of deal. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Stavi, dude. One of our guys. Very funny fat man. You ever heard of that? Uh, what do you mean? He's a funny fat man. Yeah, he is. I agree. Yep. I thought it was like a saying or something. Well, there's one thing you can't deny. That, that man is fat. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, oh, be funny. cool. I've been funny. Be bad. cool, Brennan Schaub. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. Don't you fucking try and out shop me. Don't make me go in a room and suck my dick or whatever. <laughs> go in a room and suck my dick. <laughs> oh, this one's posted by ROFL A Roll. <laughs> Truly, which stand up was worse? I saw this. What do you think? Are you like serious question? Yeah. Serious, eight question, inches? serious question? Yeah, eight inches. Um, I don't really know too much about his stand-up game in, in the UFC. So the answer is easy. So, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still going to be UFC. <laughs> 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 I mean, he won some fights, right? Has he ever won a stand-up set? But as far as stand-up goes, he's the worst stand-up comedian that's ever existed. Sure, yeah. So that, that would mean he's worse at stand-up, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I don't know, because I, I don't have any balls to fight, dude. Oh, no. And he was like top, he always said, I was top 10. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I respect his stand. I would respect his stand up game for sure. Yeah, dude. If he ever came fight. up to me, I would just start punching myself, being like, oh. I would run so fast if he wanted to fight me. Yeah. But before that, I'd probably do a bunch of shabbisms to see how far I could mm. get. You know? How many chicks you broke? How many chicks you broke? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say running away? Uh, yeah, like as I'm running, I'm like, well, how many chicks are you for? <laughs> And I might be able to beat him in running because he blows his hamstrings when he's running at Chappelle. <laughs> yeah, run me to my truck. Um, what, what else can you say in this? Like, if you had, like, he walked in right now, what, what are the shopisms you would say? Um, is that Miley Cyrus's daughter? <laughs> Eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> John um, Africa. John, who the hell, John Africa? He's like strength. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I say is some shabism. Not like I love, I love you, mom. Atrocious. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is posted by <laughs> Icy Fo Fodant. 
<laughs> it's uh, when Joe drops a trans joke. Two hungry wolves. I like the two hungry wolves thing a lot. And he does kind of look like Woody. <laughs> I never thought about that. He does look like Woody. He's shaped like Woody. Yeah, he's got, he talks like him too. Joe's kind of like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear and Woody when they're on the pod together. Toy Story is basically his Rogan. When, That's a great yeah. assertion right there, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buzz, Buzz is just like. <laughs> yeah, what would Buzz say? When he hits the DMT to infinity and beyond. That's fucking good. Yeah. That's um, <laughs> Burke Reicher as Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Sugar as Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> Brendan Schaub is that girl that herds the sheep. What is, it? <laughs> is there a real? I don't remember that one. Who does that? What does the sheep girl do? Uh, I don't know. I thought it'd be funny to call him a woman. That is funny. Is is there like a really stupid Toy Story toy? The T Rex. Right? Oh, the, yeah. then there you go. There you go. Schaub is the T Rex, oh, dude. Damn. Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent. Brian Collins the Slinky. <laughs> yeah, Look at my creepy. thighs. <laughs> the slinky is creepy. Can you imagine like a Slinky that can move and talk? You'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like the Slinky is Cal and or Delia. Yeah. You're just like, "Why do you move like that?" <laughs> Why are there two Slinkies in our comedy? <laughs> two or what is it called? Toy Story. My daughter won't be going out with any Slinkies <laughs> as your your toy. And you're like, not don't associate with that fucking Slinky over there. Either of them. <laughs> All the Kill Tony regulars are the army men. <laughs> <clears throat> I got my eye on you, Slinky. <laughs> Let's see here. What else do we have? Um, posted by Dazzling Rabbit. Guess who fell for a parody account posting fake news? You goddamn right, my boy. <laughs> uh, legend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brendan Chops is a legend. Brian Battle is set to receive a $250,000 fine and a lifetime ban from competing in France from the French Athletic Commission after walking out to N-Words in Paris, finishing their French fight, fighter and flipping off the fans. Apparently not real. See, here's the thing. Like, okay, I make fun of my friends back home for always falling for, like, I've talked about on our regular pod, Raccoon Tweeties, Dom Lucre, Thinker of Thoughts, and all these stupid Hilarious. things. But at the same time, Shab is a guy, he wants to believe the cool story, right? He wants, these, like, he wants to think that fucking Mr. Rogers was a sniper that killed like 38 Viet Cong or whatever because he wants to believe in the fantasy. He's like, wants to think cool, cool things happen. So mm-hmm. I understand that he's just very stupid. He doesn't even take the two seconds to verify anything. Yeah. And that can lead to a prom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got an information prom, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he took ivermectin cause he thought it was horse dewormer. <laughs> is what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, this one's called chin is furious posted by haphazard. I was excited for this one. Let's see what happens. Cookie's nice. Can I have that bag for the kiddos? Yeah, of course. <laughs> They're going to freak out. Cookie's nice. <laughs> that is such a funny way to describe food. Cookie's nice. Is it like a dessert? Oh, how's a dessert? Nice. <laughs> I usually say good. I go, that's really good. I like delicious. It. They're delicious. Yeah. Delicious. That's when the, we were at the sushi spot. And the people next to us, they saw we got this really crazy looking dessert. And they're like, what is that? And I was like, it's a, I didn't even know what it was because we had the chef pick Jasmine, Jasmine cream or something like that. And they were like, is it good? And I was like, oh, it's, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Cookie's nice. Can I have that bag for the kiddos? Yeah, of course. They're going to freak out. Mm. Interesting. No, not a fan. I like my toy. I like house. it. Yeah. Toll house. Motherfucker. Wait, what happened there? I don't know. Chin said motherfucker right he after did? this. Yeah. Let's see what I this is. Motherfucker. Oh, because it got fuzzy. Toll house. Went out no, focus. He did that on purpose. Oh fuck. He's trying to uh, blank the blank something out of this. Oh. Uh, I wonder what it was. Maybe the drink? Chips. Yeah. Toll house. Coca Cola. Toll House. And an extra soda too, so you can give them that. Toll House. The yellow one. Yeah. No, I mean I like homemade Toll House. Yeah, I know. Butter, Butter, yellow, brown sugar, flour, mm. <coughs> semi-sweet chocolate chips. Toll House. Motherfucker. Toll House. And an extra soda too, so you can give them that. Toll House. Mm. The I can't one? figure out. Yeah. What he's mad about. No, I mean, I like the homemade Toll House. Yeah, Maybe know. Chin has stopped. Butter, butter, toll house. brown sugar, flour. Mmm. Motherfucker. 
<laughs> but whatever it is, very interesting. I don't know. Interesting. So let's see. One more time pass through. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you, maybe you can sp- and spot it and see what's going on. Let's see a little bit ahead of time. He's drinking a Coca Cola Oreo flavor. Interesting. No, not That's a fan. Good. I like my toll I like house. it. Chocolate chips. Yeah. Toll house. I maybe. feel like it's an N word or something. Oh, fuck. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, maybe. Or Brian gave the white power symbol. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what it is dude what the door is getting too loud yeah people oh that's what happened somebody walked in again yeah yeah and they walked in yeah it was like somebody that chino's money to he's like motherfucker <laughs> where they walked in and they had some sort of logo that you're not supposed to see and i don't know i this symbol or whatever i've just heard this is an a-ok symbol but mm-hmm. i've seen people online say i just want to be clear if yeah. i ever do this it means a okay, nothing. <laughs> Cooney is red pilled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, what else do we have? So there's a big, uh, what is it called? A uh, painting of a narrative that Chin is losing it. Oh, yeah. That T Fat K. And Chin, if you're watching this, these chairs are mighty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, come on the pod. <laughs> yeah, possibly. We, we, we're hard to get. Uh, so this is <laughs> posted by Dazzling Rabbit uh, 633. It's uh, called, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. <laughs> and yeah. obviously it's, it's the MMA show yeah, interview. Yeah, MMA junkies or, ju- or MMA, MMA holes. holes. Yeah. Yeah. With Hella that. Mark Harley. Great time. Special time. I mean, we knew we were in the good times then, dude. That was yeah. fun. That was a great time. That was hilarious. Uh, this next one is, Chin is a real problem at the moment, posted <laughs> by Confidence Search 8648. So this is what I'm talking about, the narrative of being painted about the Chin thing. You know what I mean? Chin's, yeah. Chin, I think, is added up to his eyeballs. Okay, shit. Thanks for watching. We're at 57 minutes. so Yeah, that's, that's not enough. <laughs> that's definitely enough. <laughs> Damn, Chin, why are you just... Oh, man, Chin's got his shades on today. He's just feeling like the shit, just bossing everybody like around. The vibes uh, between all of us have kind just of... Just Chin and I here. I don't know. We, we might struggle. Uh. <laughs> oh, we would definitely struggle. It's just you and me. Well, it was a fun first episode. Douche, Nick. It's only going to get better from here. And uh, thanks, everybody. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Fuck? Chin, you want to plug anything? Uh, not really. Well, weird. It's so you know, strange. You know what? I know it's off, though. What's you, know, you know it's off if you think about Beanie it. guy don't got a beanie. You know Didn't I mean? even have to say it, dude. I, I knew that was going to be it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, how... How can he do the show? No one. That's why Chin probably saw that and put his sunglasses on. And was like, "Fuck this show." Oh, Beanie, you think you can have a hat? That's a problem. <laughs> he put a hoodie on. He was like, "I Wait, just can't even want to be here." Like, what the hell is this, dude? What is he wearing? He thinks he's gonna wear a golf hat and a tiger thick sweat, a hoodie with no beanie. Oh, dude, you're sitting in Brennan's shop seat, Daddy. You're one guy. Mm-hmm. We know you as Beanie Man. Yeah. What are you? What are you doing here? You want us to call you beard guy? Not going to happen, Captain. No. Fuck out of here with your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dumbass motherfucker. Um, let's see here. This one's posted by Stone0777. Haven't seen that name in forever. Mm. Uh, Redact exposes the comedian Josh Wolf's personal <laughs> family matters. <laughs> let's see this. We didn't watch this already, right? No. I saw it on the, the Reddit, but I didn't click play. Um, but yeah, shout out to Josh Wolf, dude. Yeah, man. The best. Wishing, wishing him the best. Oh, that and dude, he's absolute, absolute best. That poor dude, right? Because mm-hmm. his his oldest daughter really struggles with addiction. I didn't know. Uh, that. You don't need to yeah, say all that. Time. Yeah, he's talked about it on here. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> so crazy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Shab just goes like yeah. we know this, right? If, I, if he learns something about us. I mean, he's going to talk about my small teeth, big gums. He's going to talk about the Sharpie. Yeah, he'll talk about your hairy back, too. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Your beard being too big before <laughs> when it was, and then you shaved it because it was too big. <laughs> I trimmed it, the new guy. Mm. He trimmed it a lot, but I actually like it trimmed. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> new guy, dude? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> this one's posted by <coughs> Confidence Search 8648. It's called Always Was a Redact. Let's see what this is about. Well, here's what athleticism will do for you. This guy was in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, he got cut. So can he play football at the, at the highest professional level? Probably not. But he's an amazing... <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Yeah, dude. I like, it just landed. Like, can he play football at the professional level? Probably not. 
<laughs> that's kind of a good. That's a good douche. Good douche. Yeah, this guy was in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, he got cut. So can he play football at the, at the highest professional level? Probably not. But he's an amazing he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist, <laughs> holding a professional record of one win with no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Brendan Schwab. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Schwab. Can't play football, Schwab. Is there going to be a third disrespect? Uh, oh, Schwab just gave him the Josh Barnett. He just got the throat slice. He got Barnetted. Very good theatrics. I'll give him that. Takes care of Johnny Curtis. Brendan Schaub in his pro debut as a 25-year-old. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that before. And he might be penalized for over-celebration there. Well, I'd say the NFL. Oh, man. Perfect clip. I'd never seen the beginning before where he says... Dude. He could probably play in the NFL. Probably not. Could he host a podcast with other people? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Could he do a show about going to food trucks and getting food? Probably not. Showtime. How did that go? <laughs> yeah, just all the different things. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. Uh, this one's called Brennan Schaub, beast of a business owner and brother, blurts out his... I feel like we already watched this one, but I could be wrong. Blurts out his employee's medical issues on national earwaves. Too late to ask Jay now. Mm, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Post about earwaves. I got to sh- shout out to Jay. Jay Schaub, as soon as you watch that podcast, Jay's like, dude, these nerds telling you to quit drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I was laughing. Jay, like, Jay doesn't mean Jay barely drinks. No, but Jay said even I was, he goes, but I told him, I was like, yeah, I, you know, there's just, you know, <laughs> that's the studio, right? That's not here. Yeah, I think that's someone opening another door. That's the, the door, dude. Let's, Let's get this again, door sure. noise really quick. Hey, no, wait, Jay doesn't mean Jay barely drinks. No, but Jay said even I was, he goes, but I told him, yeah, I was like, yeah. I, <laughs> why does it sound different every time? I, it's so like it's either someone opening the door or maybe all the liquid going down the sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wooden creaky door in like the Midwest now. We should do. You know how we did a tier list. What if we did a tier list of like the funniest things that have ever actually happened? Like um, somebody, I think that on, a sleeper for it is someone walking in while they're recording. Remember when they have Howie and something? They're like that, and then the cockroach on the carpet, <laughs> some of the door shit. <laughs> think about it. The nicotine all over the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the toe, the flip flops. <clears throat> Let's see. You know, they're just, you know, looking out. And plus, it's just, you know, I think just for my health, I should <laughs> stop for a while. Yeah, and he goes, we're yeah. not that young. Then he so, goes, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> so for I like to still drink every now and then. I like to still drink every now and then. But yeah, I get it. What Jay barely drinks, but also Jay's going through his own stuff. Hopefully you don't mind sharing. <gasps> so Jay's going through his own stuff. Hopefully you don't mind sharing. <gasps> Jay had to get checked for uh, diabetes. Oh damn! And Jay's healthy as fuck. Yeah, but he's a candy. He's a candy. No, not not really. Like like Jay eats pretty healthy, and his whole thing was like I was making fun of him. Like, what are you doing? He's like, man, I keep you know. He say just stays lean. He's like Bosty. He's like, I just stay lean. He's like, I'm trying to put on some weight. So he's like eating fucking pizza and Cinnabon. He's like, and then I'm going to talk about. I'm like, dude, this can't be good. He's like, no, nah, I'm I'm two ten. I'm two ten. Look at me. T- show me pictures of his abs and stuff. He's got a good body. Uh, yeah, and I was like, yeah, but your insides. What are, <laughs> where are those going on? Sure enough. Sure enough, mm. they're like, yeah, like his his we got his blood work done. It was horrendous. Oh. Called it. Yeah, so he has to. He, he's like right on the verge where full blown diabetes. Right. Called it. Coffin. <laughs> <clears throat> Man. Oh, it look is. how he looks different here, dude. <laughs> oh, roughness. Yeah. Drinking stages. Colin, it takes it out of you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Being a master. Yeah, his power. That being the Nostradamus power where you can predict things. <laughs> yeah. Takes a lot of energy out. You know how hard it is for me not to be shy with your hypochondriasms? Oh, it'd be like, oh, and they just tell every, like, Brandon got his results back. What if he just started saying, like, <laughs> everything that happens to me? It's like he's going to die. <laughs> like, I'm fucking, are you like, exaggerate? Yeah. Brandon thinks he has mold again. That's my other, <laughs> my old, pos- like, my own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you do a pod about this pod. Yeah. So Brandon's complaining he thinks mold came back. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan said he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. What else do we got here? Okay, so another chin turn into the dark side here. It looks like posted by Chin Second Balcony. Chin, your apron is ready when you are. Let's <laughs> see. Oops, sorry. That's a funny title. Well, that's our boy Sean Merriman, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. That is. Yeah. yeah. He wants to get back to the UFC, right? He does, yeah. So much talent, man. Stupid talented. Yeah, and cool guy, too. Yeah, great guy. Know. We met him. <laughs> great guy. We met him. Great guy. We met him. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's beginning to believe. <laughs> <laughs> so 
funny. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's not really much there. He's just no. You know. But then maybe that's a point. You know, whenever they do the sayings, they would say shit like you find a funny clip like that. That motherfucker clip was weird. Which one was that? He's like motherfucker. Oh yeah. I wonder what that was. I really want to know. Yeah. Chin, please. Also, get some WD-40, please. Chin, if you want to tell us what's going on, talk to us through our Tiger Belly rep. Yeah. Um, or have speak through us through uh, Esther. <laughs> Let's see. This one's supposed to be Wiz McFly. It's, uh, well, wait, what was the title? Water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brendan Shaw posted the, this UFC Paris main card is better than the Sphere card in every facet. Facet. I thought he was going to stop saying facet, dude. Nope. Never. Wow. He's going to say facet in every facet. And he put a sink in there. Every day. Oh, sink. Let that sink in. That's so funny. He didn't think of the sink thing. Wow. He's a genius. He, I think he's on Baja mode. He might have relapsed. He was a year sober. Think he's on Baja mode? <laughs> oh, 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 sir. <laughs> More of the Yenna bomber. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to keep going with your bit. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just oh. laughing at this picture of Chin. He looks crazy as hell. This is posted by Cap- Caterpillar Hot 7539, uh, Yenna bomber. I mean, that is how he's dressed. He's got the tiger thick sweater on. Why is he wearing the tiger thick sweater? Drinking a little bit. Mm. Got a Voodoo Ranger there. Wow. IPA or something. A few. Wow. IPAs and Coke. Coke Zero or Coke Sugar. <laughs> Is that what's called? Chin is deal for it. <laughs> uh, what else do we got here? This one's posted by One Usual Forty Four Sixty. It's called Only Two Hundred and Fifty Can Handle the Largest or the Handle the Hardest Gig in Show Business. Oh yeah, when he films himself going to Laugh Factory. Uh, it might get a douche because the music, but let's oh, see. Fuck. In the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 it's so funny to show up to stand up like that. Gigantic t shirt, skinny jeans, <laughs> the pants. backpack, the shoes. backpack in your 40s. Dude, the tightest pants. Dude, this is a chick right yeah, here. Dude. It, yeah, you look at the bottom and you think that's like a fucking thick woman. More like thick boy. Oh, man, my bad, thick boy. He looks all confused. It's like first day of school vibes. Yeah, that intro is so awkward. Mom told me that I got to look cool on my first day of school. <laughs> I'm going to call this so popular. Oh, there's a cool guy. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? <laughs> Do you have Back Mrs. Ross? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Do you have Mrs. Ross, too? <laughs> <laughs> Diet starts Monday, dude. Oh, no. Your boy's doing some new stand-up. Find it out on his The face of someone who did well. And he says, well, your boy's trying some new stand-up. Very fucking. This face? Yeah. This is not like, I just crushed. You don't look like that after you do well at stand-up. <laughs> is this new now, right? This no, is... I think it's old. <clears throat> Folks, I we are rushing to the Hollywood Improv. I am on stage in 10 minutes. What's up? Just got off stage at the Hollywood Improv. Your boy <laughs> ran here. I had three minutes before I had to go on stage. Almost missed my first set ever in seven years. But I made it. It was a great set. I would say it was better than Laugh Factory. You never know what you're going to get. But if you want to see your boy, all new material. I did new material tonight. A different set than I did at the freaking Laugh Factory than the Improv. Your boy is coming to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Never been. Be cool, Fort Wayne. I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And the week after, I'm in San Diego, where I shot my very first special in San Diego at the Laugh Factory in downtown San Diego. Come get you some. Love you guys. Thick Boy Nation. Go to thickboy.com for details. I'm out. My eyes, I-, I mean, great club, though. What's it called? The San Diego Laugh Factory? Great oh, yeah. club. Gotta say, murdered. <laughs> Those were the days, man. When mm-hmm. you used to do that shit, where you could see him do stand up. Mm-hmm. It fucking sucks. No, I'm talking about me. I, I went to the San Diego. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, He probably bombed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. But bombing's all part of it, dude. You got to take the wins with the losses. You know why the losses create the wins, daddy? I know. I wish he understood that. When he makes his return, we'll deserve it. You're right. That's the way I think about it. Uh, this one's posted by Dazzling Rabbit yet again. All my family is in the military. <laughs> this is what it's called. Let's see. 
But isn't it weird when you think about all that, like, like in the military, I still, you know, I adore the military. All my family's military. So all my family's military. So. (laughs) (laughs) That's just funny. Is your family all military? Not in the slightest. Not in any facet. (laughs) (laughs) All righty. Let's go to this one posted by what's that name? Salami gun? <laughs> Salami gun. Yeah, I got it. Uh, it's called It's Not That Awesome. Let's see. So I do all like the social branded stuff for Brendan. So I need like goofy, weird videos that you guys all probably hate. Um, I do those. And then I do all Brendan's. Uh, dr- what? Remember Brendan Shop so that he handles all this stuff. Oh, now. fuck. Yeah. He said he does all the socials now. And so uh, we're not, I'm not reading this wrong, right? No, he, this, is, weird. this is the guy doing all those electric cars are for pussy stuff. That guy's, this guy's talking about men on airwaves now. So I do all like the social branded stuff for Brendan. So I need like goofy, weird videos that you guys all probably hate. Um, I do those and then I do all Brendan's, uh, dry fast, all gas stuff. That's awesome. I listened to that show. I probably heard your guys' voice and you said you hosted an after it's not that awesome. Uh, no. It's not and then that. I do all Brendan's uh, <laughs> drive fast, all gas stuff. I mean, yeah, he says it's not that awesome. So that's the point in the clip, right? He's like, it sucks. But I feel like that is that is every guy that works on a show, um, like a, one of these shows, they're always very self-deprecating. You know, they're like, it's not that great because they. That's like the personality of a kind of guy that works. And just to be real, not funny to say that, but it's yeah. true. No, I mean it's not that awesome for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I mean, he doesn't seem thrilled. Sure. At all. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's at himself. the studio. It's his job. And you're sure. on earwaves talking about your job. Yeah. And I the guess. job is all earwaves, dude. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. On top of that, I'm rocked just by Brendan Shop not controlling his own Instagram. So, okay, more fun take on this. What do you think he why do you think he's saying it? What is not awesome specifically, do you think, about the job? Um, i.e. Marg Harley getting asked to do so many jobs at once. Right. And this guy's probably just the next guy. They're doing the same, shop's doing the same thing to this poor guy who kind of looks like Beanie Man's brother. Love bomb. Right? Right. That's how it starts. Hugs, kiss, not, well, you know, hugs, hikes, cars, fish, kids. <laughs> and then it turns into, hey man, can you give me some, can you give me some magic mind? Let's just say he's off drugs mm-hmm. and alcohol. Right? Okay. You know, what did what that one girl say? You know what I mean? And then it turns into, I need it by tonight, dude. What the hell? I need it. I gotta see, I'm going to go to this uh, Mint 400. Can you be my security? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you be that guy's security? Yeah. And then it turns into like t- tearing him down. He's what, a buck fucking 20, dude? And like, yeah, you can't do security. That's five, a five, four. Mark yeah. Harley's intimidating. You got to knock that off real quick, dude. Yeah. I pray to God he don't put four C's on Tiger Thick. You know what I'm I saying? I know. That's probably what I was going to say. It's the stress. Mm-hmm. The stress of always being like, oh, fuck. Did this, is there three C's? It's not four, right? Yeah. And Does he, he really want me to ask it. Jay or do I just let it go? Is it rhetorical? <laughs> you know? You have nightmares about whether the donut is placed in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going through it, dude. I think we're a little witness. You might be right. You might be right. I mean, the vibe is off in that studio. Definitely for that show. Yeah. yeah. Why don't they know how to podcast? That's what they do. All day long, but, you know, it's different when you're in the chair, you know? Mm. We know. I mean. People think they can sit in these red chairs. Mm -hmm. Talk about coffee for 40 minutes? That's the problem, dude. (laughs) You know what I mean? We do it better than anyone. Let's see here. This one's posted by Twisted Tippies, right? Mm. Tipples or something? Uh, Big Brown. (laughs) Big Brown Chew. Uh, I don't know if you see that, but artificially flavored R word. Yeah. Shredded Zin Yum <laughs> in a Stay Fresh pouch. <laughs> oh, 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 Riley's Auto Parts. 35, your YouTube videos, and then a long comment at the end there. I like it. It's, um, you know, and it, it puts everything into a funny thing that we all remember, Big League Chew. Upside Down LA What's, Hat. Upside Down Hat. That's good detail right there. Um, one thing they're missing is three C's anywhere. Mm, like true. C-C-C-E-W or something. That would have been funny if it was three C's true, but then mm-hmm. it might have been too big at that point, you know, to fit over his head. I mean, we got plenty of real estate right here with two C's <laughs> up and down right there. <laughs> maybe maybe throw in, for no reason, uh, Dr. Doom in there somewhere. Well, what I'm trying to say is it's not from Brennan Shop. Oh, it's yeah. One C. It, yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, so I don't know about this one. There might be a, a lot of stuff getting douched out of this episode. Um, it's posted by OK Conclusion 7304. Friday Beer's newest video making fun of the Roganverse stand-up. 
And bonus podcast parody at end. All the comments making fun of Rogan too. Dicey, dicey. Let's see. Oh, shit. All right, let's see this. (laughs) That's kind of funny. Watch out, retard! No. Austin, Texas! <laughs> Dude, this is good. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Looks like it's time to... Go Lions! <laughs> Fucking love you guys. Oh, man, you guys are awesome. You in the gray sweatshirt. What's your name, dude? Uh, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, y'all rule, man. Oh, you guys have been awesome. That's been my time. Love you guys. Hey, it's time to. <laughs> so money, dude. Oh. <laughs> so money. <laughs> what? He said, so money, dude. The way he said, so money, dude. Oh, so money, dude. <laughs> I miss that. Doc, I am Pagliacci. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Pagliacci, you know that thing, right? I'm, I but am. Doc, but Doctor, I am Pagliacci, Pagliacci. You never heard that? All right, let me tell you real quick. I think I remember. All right, so this guy, he goes to the doctor and he's like, I'm so depressed. You know, I can't, nothing makes me happy. And the doctor's like, oh, I think I might have a, a cure for that. Or like, I have a suggestion. The guy's like, what? He's like, you got to go see Pagliacci the Clown. He's so funny. He makes everybody like laugh and feel better. And then he goes, but doctor, I am Pagliacci. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. What's that from? Uh, I don't know. It's like an old, I think it's like Wife's tale. Yeah. Let's see. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for coming on, Will. I mean, the special. Yeah, it's I was just telling Joe, our producer, like, you were not, you were. One sec. Um, we're promoting the special, so go check that out right now. On so good, uh, so good. Let me. Cool. We're also promoting Fireball. Okay, it is the perfect shot for your game day. Whether you're sneaking those little shooters right before you go into the stadium, <laughs> whether you're doing a fireball keg at the tailgate lot, taking a tailgate shot, or you're taking a celebratory touchdown at the bar, it is the perfect way to ignite your game day. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hats off, Matt Angus or whatever. Literally, it's, it is really his name. I don't know. That was great. Hell yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, this one is from RF, ROFL Roll again. How many beans shall we spill? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, dude? He's wearing the. He's got cards on him, Daddy. You see that? But like if it wasn't for his terrible personality this might be like just committing the bit kind of funny dressing mm. like this I don't know it's cool to wear costumes on your show I mean where is the cow at <laughs> dude <laughs> those are crazy I wonder how much this costs how much that cost might really blow our mind like mm-hmm. if it was a super expensive shirt like this is a the we I think it's just a costume but he went to like fucking Gucci to buy this or something. Imagine it says Gucci on each finger. <laughs> it's a Hermes cards shirt. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm wearing this because I'm a cowboy. Each glove costs five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he snaps. <laughs> You're black and fat, David. <laughs> but Tony David's not here. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I kind of look like David, except I'm not fucking fat. Lasso it. <laughs> Your set was pretty bad. I think you need to throw a lasso around it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't know any cowboy like slang, and I'm trying to think of things he would say as a cowboy. Like, what do you say? Bro? I, I know. I, like, they say that you should get back on the horse, but you shouldn't. <laughs> do another one. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy, this uh, yeah, cowboy um, never says. Um, yeah. dude. <laughs> this is a six shooter. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't do it. I'm the only cowboy in this town. <laughs> and I, I came here to chew bubble gum and ride horses. And guess what? I want to suck a horse's cock. I don't know. I suck a horse's cock. Yeah, yeah. Well. No. I was going to laugh, but I was doing my cowboy noise, dude. It was not my best. We'll give up on that bit. Let's see here. You can learn more about cowboys. Uh, Caterpillar Hot posted this uh, 7539. Is a prom the usual sex pests? It says here. Great Photoshop job. Uh, Diddy, uh, Kevin Spacey didn't change much. Uh, you got Brandon Schwab, uh, the Diddler, and Brian Callen. It's funny with the heights. You'd almost think. I mean, Rogan's not oh, accused yeah. of this, but Rogan would be like right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. Um, is Brandon Schwab accused of it? Not yet. Uh, let's see. This one is posted by Haphazard. It's called I Blame the Team for Not Being Able to Understand Bapa. And this is the last clip for the day, so let's really enjoy oh, it, boys. Let's see here. I just went down the rabbit hole. This this is a good I distraction, but then I'll here. You want to go down conspiracy real quick, yeah. B, before you go that? You want to go down conspiracy? <laughs> oh yeah. He just won a billion dollar lawsuit against Iraq. Who did? Did he did? He did. Won a billion a bi- dollar? Uh, not 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 a million, sir. A no. billion. Yeah, yeah. What? against the rock. Yeah, uh, 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 Sir Rock, not the Rock. Oh, it, Sir, oh Sir Rock, Sir Rock. Dude, here. He, yeah, I thought he said the Rock too. I heard Sir Rock, but isn't that P Diddy's own brand? Uh, yeah. <laughs> something, yeah, something, something. But Diddy also, you know, he sure. was a problem, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hear, hearing aids and hair okay. transplant. All right, Sir Rock, the vodka. Remember that was his oh, shit. Yeah. He he filed a race. The, the some race thing against him. He won a billion dollar. Think about how evil he is. Joanne, if I touch, if I look at Billy, her baby girl, the wrong way, she would shoot me. At Billy, her baby girl. What? I don't know. It was very confusing. I don't understand the end. Yeah. I mean, he's a conspiracy head, dude, just like us. He's probably right, though. I mean, Ciroc, he sued Ciroc, and then they just made up all the stuff about all the yeah the baby oil and all that. I mean, why else would he be saying that if it wasn't 100% correct? He speaks facts. It's fa- it's, it's Big facts, Daddy. Yeah, that, that that conspiracy theory was fire, <laughs> savage. <laughs> I just picture all the Toy Story toys <laughs> talking on a podcast now. He That'd be a good T-Rex. fucking video. Yeah. yeah, you just animated all the T Rex in his voice. <laughs> there you go, chefs. T R X, T Rex. You know, <laughs> dude. Dude, you got dude, the best brand. Different. All right, guys. See you next week.